Welcome to Linda's Corner. My name is Linda Bjork. For today's episode, I will be sharing an excerpt from one of my books called You Got This, An Action Plan to Calm Fear, Anxiety, Worry, and Stress. With all the disturbing current events we're facing, people all around the world are experiencing overwhelmingly high levels of stress right now. I feel strongly about the need to help empower people to be resilient and able to handle their problems. You Got This is a thoroughly researched, easy-to-read, well-designed action plan to calm feelings of fear, anxiety, worry, and stress with a wide variety of proven cognitive behavioral therapy techniques that empower people to regain a sense of peace and control in their lives. You Got This will show you how to decrease stressors, increase coping skills, increase confidence, increase resilience, and find solutions to your problems. The book is available in paperback and ebook formats on Amazon. Today's excerpt highlights one of the many tools shared in the book. These tools are part of the section of the book called Daily Action Steps. If we want to make positive changes in our lives, then learning new information simply isn't enough. Change requires action. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but there is no other way. However, it doesn't have to be hard, overwhelming, or take a lot of time. Rather than expecting someone to completely overhaul their lives overnight, these action steps are broken down into small, bite-sized pieces that are simple and short so that they can be completed by real people who are living real lives. It's going to be okay. You got this. The action step for today is to dedicate 30 minutes to calm the body and the mind either by exercising or by connecting with nature and preferably by combining the two. My first choice would be to take a walk through some beautiful, natural scenery, whether that be in a park, along a beach, a river trail, a mountain path, or just around the neighborhood. Virtually any form of exercise can act as a stress reliever, but activities such as walking or jogging that involve repetitive movements of large muscle groups can be particularly stress relieving since they offer many of the same benefits as meditation. The benefits are strongest when you exercise regularly. People who exercise regularly are less likely to experience anxiety than those who don't exercise. There are a few reasons behind this. One is that regular exercise lowers the level of stress hormones. It also helps release endorphins, which are chemicals that improve your mood and act as natural painkillers. Another reason is that exercise can also improve your sleep quality, which can be negatively affected by stress and anxiety. Another thing is that regular exercise improves feelings of confidence and mood, which in turn promotes mental well-being. Try to find an exercise routine or activity that you enjoy, such as walking, dancing, rock climbing, or yoga to release stress, worry, and anxiety. Being in nature reduces stress. Studies show that just 20 minutes of contact with nature will significantly lower your stress hormone levels. Spending time outside in nature is good for the body and the mind. It helps relieve feelings of worry, anxiety, and stress. Natural beauty distracts us from problems and just helps us feel good. Studies show that being in nature, or even viewing scenes of nature, reduces anger, fear, and stress, and increases pleasant feelings. Exposure to nature not only makes you feel better emotionally, it contributes to your physical well-being by reducing blood pressure, heart rate, muscle tension, and the production of stress hormones. If the weather permits, 
Take off your shoes and feel the grass or sand under your feet to enhance your sensory experience. The more senses you can engage, the better. Feel the warmth of the sun, feel the cool of the breeze, and feel your body moving as you walk. Hear the birds or the waves or the rustle of the grass in the wind. Smell the flowers and the trees and see the beauty of nature around you. Allow yourself to be in the moment. This is also called being present or being mindful. Mindfulness is achieved by focusing awareness on the present moment. Mindfulness is a proven method of reducing fear, anxiety, worry, and stress. Often, our minds are worrying about the future or the past or both. Mindfulness is temporarily letting go of the past and the future and simply enjoying the present. Many of us find it difficult to sit still and simply choose to clear our minds of past, present, and future stressors. But if we're walking in nature and noticing the beauty around us, it's easier to just let go for a little while and be present, which then empowers us to be better able to handle our challenges when we pick them up again. Research verifies that connecting with nature is calming. It helps us feel good. The more we can connect with it, the better. Adapt as necessary. This activity will obviously vary depending on the season, the location, or current weather conditions. If you can't go outside and take a walk, then just adapt and do the best you can. Be creative. What can you do to create an interaction with nature? If you need to be indoors, you can do a mall walk or use a treadmill and walk for 30 minutes while listening to headphones with the sounds of birds, waves, or other nature sounds. Many grocery stores have a floral department. Walk around the store and then literally stop and smell the roses. Just do the best you can. Another option is to listen to a recording of nature while grooming a desktop zen garden or executive sandbox. These tiny boxes of sand with a miniature rake are thought to help increase mindfulness and meditation. It's believed that raking the sand in these desk zen gardens and creating swirling patterns can help calm your mind. Tending these mini landscapes can be a great escape, if even for just a few minutes. Pet therapy. Another possible connection with nature is to spend time with an animal. Science shows that playing with or petting an animal can reduce stress. It increases levels of the stress-reducing hormone oxytocin and decreases production of the stress hormone cortisol. And it also helps to overcome feelings of isolation and loneliness. If this is your best option, then just enjoy 30 minutes petting, playing with, and interacting with your pet. Whichever option you choose is fine. I hope you have enjoyed this excerpt from my book, You Got This, An Action Plan to Calm Fear, Anxiety, Worry, and Stress. I feel strongly about the need to help empower people to be resilient and able to handle their problems, so I will continue sharing excerpts from the book in other episodes of Linda's Corner. In closing, I'd like to share a quote from an official review from Reedsy. It says, the author describes a detailed and well-thought-out 30-day plan to help readers improve their ability to cope with stressors and deal with anxiety. See you next time on Linda's Corner.